What's going on everyone? Alex De Silva, happy as Larry Group. I hope you are well. And welcome to your daily dose of happiness. I hope you're having an amazing day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. Today, I wanna to talk to you about how to stop having bad days. How to stop having bad days. How do I do that, Alex? How? Bad days don't exist. Bad days don't exist. We project these bad days. Bad days don't exist. We project these bad days. Our emotions only last three minutes. Whatever you are going through, the chemical reaction that goes through your body, this has been scientifically proven, you can go and check it out. Our emotions, when, when you experience love, happiness, joy, or when you experience anger, resentment, and you're fed up, or you're frustrated, or you're stressed. Three minutes, that's all you get. You get three minutes to go through the emotion, and it's over. But what happens is, because our emotions that come from our energy system, this is our body's way of just releasing. It releases toxins, it releases everything that we doesn't need, or it releases beautiful chemicals that make us happy and smile, and it just makes us feel, ah. Now, they only last temporarily, and we know that. I can't keep smiling and loving you every moment of the day. I wish I could, and look, I love doing it. But I do it because I'm talking to you. But if you think about it, all of a sudden, the emotion's gone. And it's no different when we're going through our day. But most of us don't realize that we project these things into the rest of our day. So you have an argument with your partner or a friend or a co-worker or someone bumps into you on your way to work or you're stuck in traffic or whatever it may be. And it causes you to have those negative emotions. And we go and we have those negative emotions and, and they pass. But what happens is, is then our brain then kicks in and takes over and says, let's keep get going. This is what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you a movie that's gonna last all day. And everything that you then do is you're gonna project this bad day. Everything that's happened to you, all the emotions that, you know, that instead of you just allowing them to, to go and to leave and then take a nice deep breath and go, oh man, that sucked, all right. Back to square one, let's go. I've just given you exactly what I do. Instead of doing something like that, just allowing the process to happen, what we do instead, again, guilty of charge, I've been there and sometimes it still happens with me. So this is continuous work. Remember, continuous work. We go into this mind movie. We go into this mind movie that we bite. We bite, we get the popcorn, we buy the drinks, we buy them extra large so we can really sit and enjoy. And then we sit there and we watch this mind movie and then we think, wow, this is such a great film. This is award winning. Let's keep watching. Let's create more. So what we do is we create more. We create more. We create more bad days. We keep going through that same argument that happened about four hours ago or three days ago. Or that person that did us wrong, they come back in again. You know, and the ex that, you know, that never text us, you know, and we haven't spoken to them in years, you know, they come in as well. Why not? Let's just have the whole gang. Let's just have a big massive bar, you know, bar fight and let's just all kick off, you know, and then let's burn the city down and, you know, let's cause chaos. That's what the mind movie does. If some of you are laughing, it's true, right? If you really think about it, put yourself in that situation, think, God, that does happen. Because it happens to all of us. We're all human, it's natural, it's normal. Again, because of the conditioning that we've had and the things that we do and how we are always watching a screen or we're working in a, on, on, you know, looking at a screen, we don't get away from from things so we're constantly stuck like this instead of actually being open and allowing things to happen to us we are constantly in this bubble and the bubble that we often choose to be in is the uncomfortable one because for some reason it feels comfortable it's normalized that's what has happened stress depression anxiety uh, resentment anger fear ego low self-esteem you name all of these things now have become normal it's normality so what we do is our brain, which is here to protect us, and it's the most powerful machine has, that has ever been created, 
what it does is it stores all of our behaviors, all of our emotions, all of our traumas, everything that happens to us. And because it is there to protect us, its function is to there to protect us. It's given us consciousness and it protects us as we go through the day, keeps us alert, puts us to sleep, it puts us in you know all sorts of, of, of different places. But what we have taught the brain to do, because we're not running away from saber-toothed tigers or dinosaurs anymore, there's nothing really that we need to, to protect ourselves from as such. So what we've done instead is we've created these tiny little things that we call emotions, we've then all of a sudden just elongated a process and we just keep living and living these things. For some of us, for days, for months, for weeks, for years, years and years and years. So there is no such thing as a bad day. It's just bad thinking. That's what this is. It's bad thinking. And if you don't control your mindset, if you don't change your mindset, if you don't teach yourself how to just be in this present moment, you know, right here and right now, where you live consciously, where there is all, there is everything and there is nothing. If you don't live in this moment, you're missing life. So having these bad days, you're missing life. You're throwing your life away having these bad days, these bad days that don't exist. They should just be bad moments. And we might have one or two moments, but if you change your mindset and say, okay, right, let's reset. (sighs) I'm calm, I'm good. Let's go, I'm happy, let's start again. As you go into the next meeting, as you go into the next call, as you go and do something challenging, as you go into the next workout, as you go and have a conversation with your partner because of the argument that you've had. If you take responsibility for going into a place from your heart center and your gut, the biggest energy systems that we have. If you go into them, you will see how everything changes. It changes because you then take control of who you are and you allow yourself, allow yourself to let go. Some of us just want to hold on to it. And I never understand why. I, you know, Sometimes we hear from people and we work with people like, I just can't let go of this. I'm going to take this to the grave. Why? The other person's moved on. They don't even care about you. They're not even thinking about you. Why are you still playing the movie? Why are you still playing this movie? Stop, go and watch something better. That's the problem, is we wanna hold on to these things like we're gonna cause these people so much pain. The only person who's in pain is you. You are the only person that's suffering. The other person's moved on. And that's what needs to change. That's why there aren't bad days. We create these bad days. And the more and more you understand these things, the more and more you take responsibility for these things, then you will start to realize how much better your life is, how much more beautiful experiences you can have. Because they are choices. You cannot be happy and sad at the same time. You cannot be happy or sad at the same time. So it's a choice. This is what we don't understand. This is what you don't understand, is you have the choice. You are in control because it's you. It's not the other person, it's you. Make the choice. What do you wanna do? Who do you wanna be in that day, today, right here and right now? If you're watching this and this is annoying you because you know it's hit a nerve, let go. Don't get annoyed with everybody else because you can't take control of your life. Take control. It sucks to hear that. Even when I said that, I was like, oh, oh, that hit the nerve even in me. But I have to say that to myself. Alex, get a grip. But not as in bottle things up, let go. I don't want to feel stressed today. I don't want to feel anxious or depressed. Do you? Do you want to keep carrying that pain and and that discomfort with you? Is that how you want to live your life every day? Do you think you deserve that? I know you don't. I'm speaking from, from, from an individual. And I know you don't because I realize that these things they're not meant to last. That's why nothing is meant to last. It's just a simple experience. And that's what we have to look at. It's a simple experience. Have the experience, process the experience, 
accept the experience, let go. Let go and forgive, because you're forgiving yourself. More importantly, it's not even about the other person, people, places, things, whatever it may be. It's about you, and that's what I want you to understand. It's about you. It's about you. Say it to yourself, it's about me. Me having these bad days, me carrying this stress, this anxiety, this depression, it's me. I'm carrying this and as soon as that clicks and you connect with your heart, if it makes you emotional and you cry, go through that cry, let go because that's your body releasing energy that it doesn't need. That's why we cry, that's why we get angry, that's why we purge because we have to let go of these things and bad energy comes out in all sorts of ways and I've seen it, I've seen it. I've seen people scream, shout, burp, fart, spit, you name it, cry, you, everything. Because that's how, that's how our phenomenal human body works. That's how we release things. But what we do is we keep these things in and, and our pride takes in and we say, I'm not going to do that because I'm too egotistical. I'm too proud of myself. And, and, you know, and no. Okay. Well, that's okay with me too. It's okay because it's just your experience. But I love you unconditionally and I want you to, 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 to let go of these things that don't serve you. And I hope that you do, because you deserve that. So stop having these bad days that don't exist. There's no such thing as bad days. There are only bad moments. And if you allow the moment to happen, you will see that actually those bad days or bad moments, they are far few in between. Because you allow yourself to live here, now. Enjoy, love, happiness, fulfillment, excitement, however you want to feel, because that's what you deserve. Have an amazing day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. And as always, be great, be fantastic, and be absolutely phenomenal today. Have an amazing day. No such thing as bad days anymore. I'll speak to you soon. Take care.